I love the rain. It's hard to truly realize how much you appreciate and need someone until they are gone. To be honest, it was depressing and boring being at Blackfish Hollow alone. From day one, I miss being with Nicole. Rather than waste the 10 days, I told myself to stay focused and complete one task per day. Gutters for rainwater harvesting, three cords or more of firewood. And preparing the logs for the yurt loft were all the projects which kept me sane. Our acreage here at Blackfish Hollow is in the Canadian rainforest, a temperate part of Canada that receives between 70 to 100 inches of rain per year. One of the benefits of our property was there is already a well on site and we'll be combining well water with rainwater to provide all the irrigation we need for showers, drinking, and garden. I would consider our location to be the Hawaii of Canada, warmer winters and cooler summers, a very balanced microclimate throughout the year, which I can't wait to garden in after the infrastructure and necessities of life are installed. That's three cords so far. rain here. <laughs> Preliminary, very rudimentary rainwater harvesting system. It will be expanded upon coming up real soon, but that's going to be um, at least usable water for the time being. Showers, dishes, teeth brushing. Probably for drinking too. I just don't want to drink the plastic. Got some better stuff coming in. The wood pile's growing. Oh, it's raining so hardcore. And of course, like any guy knows, you gotta leave the place clean when the girl comes home. And then before I knew it, Nicole was back. We just left We Go Solar. They're based by Nanaimo. And yeah, we just picked up our whole system. It's back there. Hi, Drew. So this is going to be the talk about battery longevity and maintenance. All right. So into the battery maintenance for prolonged longevity for anybody's batteries, as long as we're talking about wet lead acid batteries. This is even like a car battery, same thing. Same idea. Uh, we lose our cranking amp capacity, but we gain the low discharge as well as the amp hour capacity. Mostly for uh, a deep cycle battery, we anticipate that we have a lot of amps on, on backup for us. So mm. a car battery, little amount of amps, but high cold cranking 
uh, delivery so we can use it to turn starters over to initiate the, the, the engine or the motor to start. These guys have roughly about 100 amp hour of delivery. Okay. So these batteries can absolutely deliver about 100 amps of actual power to our inverter side of things where we're going to take power out of the batteries, invert it, 110 volt uh, for our conventional AC electric. One more question I have for those people watching, especially the beginners out there. Yeah. I think 99% of people out there would love to get into solar and batteries, but they don't know what to do. Yeah, it's a finicky kind of subject because everybody's power consumption is different. Not everybody needs L16 batteries. Not everybody wants to have lead acid batteries. So, so a company like you guys, you have a hand in helping uh, a customer design their system correctly for their for their usage and usage. their specific. So yeah. for specific people, they look for zero maintenance and no off gassing. So an AGM battery comes into that sort of situation. Okay. AGM batteries are a still a finicky creature. There's no way for us to correct or balance out cells on AGM batteries though. So mm. lead acid batteries for a green or a newbie person is really the safest way to go. It gets you more intuitive with your system. It allows you to learn about batteries and how they work, um, as well as giving you knowledge and a way for you to judge the way that your system is performing. And then who knows in five, 10 years when we increase the well, Let's say 10 years, because I want you to get 10 years out of these guys. We might go lithium ion. We're gonna have lithium batteries <laughs> at a much more price savvy point. Lithium is available today. Price is way up here though, as with anything brand new hitting the market. So Plus I know the lithium ones, um, experts are using it and they're integrating it into their solar system, but there's not a lot of components yet that play well with the lithium yet. That's right, so everything is sort of growing and the lithium technology, we're, we're right on the cusp. So I see. lithium technology is coming in. We have it available to us right now. Certain, we need to have specific charge controllers and inverter chargers that work with lithium. Jake and Nicole are getting those particular units. So in okay. 10 years, when we need to expand or, or change out the battery bank, we are already geared up for lithium batteries. And the power of lithium is that its longevity is better, it can be drained more. Yes. And it can, and the weight pound savings. for pound, it can hold more energy than you break. I got tie downs for that, I got a tie down for the batteries. I want to put a box over top of those batteries. We have solar panels now, yay. <laughs> we have solar panels, but they're well, we still stacked up in the dark back there. Yeah, we still took it up. There's going to be quite a journey. If you guys subscribe, you're going to come along for the adventure of installing these panels and battery backups and inverters and controllers. Yep. And if you're interested in having solar panels for electricity, then follow us because I'm going to show you how to do it. Yeah. Step by step through my own example. Yep. And our mistakes. Jump in. Jake and I made it back to Blackfish Hollow, and as you can see, our kittens were very excited to see us. We wasted no time and got to work putting together new furniture we got in Vancouver.
So good. Um, all the pickles. Mmm. made a delicious salad with some delicious dressing. Good. Much needed. When you're on the road or like visiting family or traveling, you tend to eat a little bad. So a salad is the way to go right now and it's delicious. It's been raining all day. Still is. So I've been in here putting together furniture the year is a mess. Hold up. You wanna say hi? They're so soft. Oh my god, they love to cuddle, which is amazing. Huh, look how big they're getting, you guys. They're gonna be some gigantic kitties. But yeah, so the house is a complete mess right now. Boxes everywhere, because we went to Ikea, and we got some chairs, which we're super excited about because We've been like sitting on the floor and we can't make all of our furniture. Eventually we're gonna try with the cob house that we build, but for right now we need to live comfortably as we're building other things and laying on the floor is awesome and I'm going to still have an area for sitting on the floor and have a bunch of pillows and stuff like that because I love sitting on the floor and laying on the floor and I think that's awesome, but it's also nice to be able to have a desk to put your stuff on and a chair to sit and an island. So we went to Ikea and we got a couple of things. Jake is building the sink right now to put the sink, or building the sink stand to put the sink on, which will be really awesome to be able to have a sink. And I'm putting together a desk and the next project's gonna be an island. So I'm really excited about the island. I think that's my favorite part. So awesome, enjoying this salad. I have a salad too. Thank you. Uh, it's been raining like crazy. So. And like the south part of Vancouver Island is getting um, like drought and stuff. And oh really? We are not. Mm. It's like, it's, it's warm outside. Like this is too much clothing. I'm just wearing this for mosquito protection. Like I could easily be t-shirt and shorts, no problem. Yeah. But it's, I'm in here with a t-shirt and, or not a t-shirt, tank top and shorts. But. It feels like Hawaii, only with pine trees and conifers. And yeah. honestly, it's, it's warm. But everyone in town that we go and talk to says, August and September is going to be warm and not very much rain. Yeah, they said this is the rainiest summer that they've had, so. Mm. This is great. Yeah, it's okay. Mm -hmm, Okay, moment of truth to see if the water <laughs> goes down the drain. Are we ready? So, I mean, back into my desert garden days, I have always wanted to have a sink that, first of all, only gets gray water, biodegradable soap. Second of all, has a big enough piping system that just drains right out into the garden directly into nature, into the fruit tree, because it's just food and biodegradable soap. No need for garbage disposal, no need for a pea trap. It just drains right out. So that's what we got. I think it looks good. I mean, obviously there's still like, this is the bare bones skeleton yeah. of it. And but we it's have, connected. it's connected and we have a sink, which is huge for us. 
I mean, huge. I don't think that you guys understand because how huge it is. Because at this point, we haven't been able to do dishes inside. We have to do them outside in a bucket. And washing our hands, brushing our teeth. Like, I don't think that you guys understand how huge this is. <laughs> I mean, eventually, if you guys stick with us, we're going to have more amenities. Washroom, bathroom, shower, all this stuff. But for now, you get to see us in the early stages. And just, just this sink is really amazing. It's a big moment for us. But eventually, the sink will be... We're going to have the sink be vessel style. It's going to come down, and then it's going to come up right here, and then have... Uh, a countertop that I'm gonna mill out of wood from outside. That's gonna be the same level as the sink, but this is connected and yeah. So let's see your amazing piping job and let's, see if it goes down. Let's hope nothing leaks out the pipes. Ooh, you can hear it go right out. <laughs> I hear it draining out of there. Nothing leaked. Yay! Oh, this is. This is huge. I didn't show because it was hard to show on camera, but I put a little um, like metal plate that I poked holes in at the end so no mice or slugs can get inside the pipe. That's awesome. I'm really excited. Now to do the dishes. Like if I put like a plank on it so it can hang over more into the... Okay, now we're really set up for success, you guys. Look at this. Woohoo! Came up with this temporary system. Jake went and cut a stump. We have these that Jake milled a while ago for the shelf, and we just kind of securely fastened it down to this, and then now we kind of have running water. <laughs> Yay! Temporary. Temporary, which, I mean, I'm so excited now. I'm so excited to wash my hands. I'm really excited to brush my teeth and I'm really excited to do the dishes. So, <laughs> I'm pumped. So later on in this video, we're gonna do a mail time segment, but, or maybe tomorrow we'll do the mail time segment, but it'll be wrapped up in one video, possibly. I just wanted to do one of the gifts that we got that I'm really excited about and we have a new sink now, so I can actually set the things out by the sink and so that's what I'm gonna do it real quick right now while we still have a little bit of sunlight. So someone sent us Myers cleaning supplies. We have hand soap, some more hand soap. We got two hand soap. We have dish soap, multi-surface um, spray, uh, cleaning spray. So we got two of each thing and I am just so excited about these because as Jake mentioned earlier, we're only using soap that is biodegradable and Myers is a biodegrading company. So this is perfect for us and it's an amazing gift so thank you thank you so much i'm really excited to use the hand soap because now i can wash my hands in a sink and it's just oh i'm so excited so thank you so much didn't work out so well but I am still so flippin happy oh sorry with the lighting it's getting dark but can you hear the rain the rain is intense right now it's been like that all day so I don't think you guys understand how <laughs> excited I am to have a sink in here this is a huge game changer, and we also got an island, and we have two chairs. Ugh. To have a table <laughs> that you can actually sit at is like so amazing. It's too dark over there for me to show you, so I'm just gonna wait till tomorrow morning. 
to show you when there's better lighting because it'll just make it look better. I mean, it's just so crazy how furniture, basic furniture, can just really tie a place together and really make it feel like a home. I mean, I can't wait for you guys to see it here coming up, um, but I'll show you guys in the morning. It's beautiful. And I just love doing the dishes now. <laughs> this is so flippin' nice. And I know it's not even what it's gonna look like. We still have so much to do, but just to even have it is just, I get to do the dishes inside the comfort of my own home and not outside with all the mosquitoes and a bucket of water with no like spout. I mean, it's just, just amazing. I'll know, I'll, I won't forget those times at all. It's making me think of them just as like, ew. <laughs> I have a question for you. What? How ready are you for a kitchen and a sink and oh running water? God. I'm so ready. Yeah. I'm beyond ready. <laughs> so it's a little bit lighter in here now versus last night. I wanted to give you guys a little bit of a tour, um, just kind of, of new additions that we have here in the yurt, which really makes it feel awesome in here. You guys have already seen the sink and we do the dishes, which has been a huge game changer. But we also got a table, chairs, and a really cool door divider that I think is awesome. So we have this awesome island that we got from Ikea and the top part, the table, that's not the actual table part. It wasn't in the box. Um, so Ikea is sending that to us, but I think it's gonna make it look awesome and really pull it together. But it is so amazing being able to have chairs and a table, like it's just rocking my world. Then over here we have this really cool door divider that is covering up our closet and our dresser which is really nice because like if guests come over they don't have to see all of our clothes hanging there and it just creates a little bit of privacy and a little bit of separation which is really nice and our bed area got moved around a little bit so it's looking really nice over there but eventually we'll have a loft that will come out and the bed will just go up there but for now it's right here and it looks really good and i love what the tapestry did and that hanging plant and then we have our mirror which is so nice to be able to have a mirror yes i propped you up on the sink because it's a little bit better lighting over here but i did a full yurt tour on our patreon page so if you want to see everything um that is going on here in the yurt and on the outside then go check our patreon page it's really cool there's a lot of really fun videos and pictures and stuff that we don't show here on YouTube. So the link is down in the description. Join us next time on Jake and Nicole Off Grid as we turn our yurt into a two-story using lumber from our forest.